it's Brittany. Welcome back to my channel. Today I am doing a new what's in my bag video. I did one about two months ago, I want to say, and since then I've actually gotten a new bag, a new wallet, and a couple other things that I've added to it, so I wanted to do an updated version. My last one that I did was after I had been carrying that bag for a long time, so things were just kind of like everywhere in my bag, but I do really like to have things very organized inside my purse, especially because I just like to carry a lot of things, so I basically have my bag exactly how I like it now, so I definitely wanted to show you guys some like little tips on how to organize a bag if you're also like me and carry everything that you own. <laughs> also, if you are new to my channel, definitely check out my videos. I do a lot of cruelty-free beauty videos as well as lifestyle and fashion hauls, so if you're into that, definitely check out my channel and subscribe. So if you would like to see what I keep inside my purse, then just keep watching. All right, so this is my new hair handbag. I'm obsessed with it. I got this from Angela Roy. They have sent me three of their bags over time and I have been so impressed with everyone that I have. If you don't know what they are, they basically make really luxurious and high quality vegan leather bags. So if you are into designer bags, but you don't want to buy things that are made from animals, <laughs> but definitely check out Angela Roy. I've been super impressed with every single one. This is not sponsored by them. I just wanted to do another updated what's in my bag video. The name of the purse that I have is called the Barton Duffel. I like to take my bags, obviously traveling and to events and things, and I just wanted it to be a little bit more secure rather than some of the other bags that I carry that don't have a zipper closure. I can leave the link to this bag in the description box so you can check it out, but of course there are so many other styles on their website, but this one is my current favorite. Here's what the inside of my purse looks like as an overview. Uh, like I said, I do like to carry quite a bit of stuff, but I like to have it organized. So the first thing I have in here is my wallet. This is the new wallet that I got. I think I purchased this around Black Friday. It's from Matt and Nat. They also do like vegan leather accessories and bags. I had this little pouch in my last What's In My Bag video. This is what I'm currently using to carry gift cards that I still haven't used from Christmas. This is also faux leather and I did get this one years ago at Forever 21. I have a pack of my favorite gum in here. This is pure gum. It's aspartame free. I think it's a Canadian company and they have a lot of different flavors. It's also sugar free. So I always like to keep a big pack of gum in my purse because I chew gum all the time. I like to keep hand sanitizer in my purse just in case I'm somewhere where I can't wash my hands right away. This is from Dr. Bronner's. I think I got this at Target and it is certified cruelty free. It's also USDA organic and it smells like lavender. I also keep one in my car too. This is something else I showed in my last what's in my bag video. This is a carrying pouch for your earbuds or like a charging cord. So I just have my earbuds for for my iPhone and a little charging cord, which is funny because I don't even have like the cube in here or an external battery, but sometimes I do carry an external battery in my bag. It's just really heavy, so I don't do it unless I know I'm gonna need it. This is something that I started carrying in my bag recently and I should have done this a long time ago, but that is a reusable shopping bag. This one is so nice because it has a little pouch that it folds up into, so it stays really nice and compact. I got this one when I worked with London Drugs, but I know that they sell these everywhere. I'm sure you could get them on Amazon too. Since I like to have a lot of little things in my bag whenever I go places, I'm a real sucker for like mini products and that can take up so much room in your bag and it can get very messy. So what I like to do is keep them inside of a zipped bag so that I know exactly where everything is. It's super accessible and it keeps everything very neat and tidy. I got this at Ulta. It's from the brand Tartan and Twine. I know they have a lot of different makeup bags from that brand too. So in here is where I keep my mini deodorant. This is a cruelty-free deodorant from La Vanilla. I used to use their perfumes all the time and they sell their deodorants at Sephora and Ulta, I think. So I saw the Sport Lux version, which I'm not sure what the formula difference is between the sports one and the regular, but I just really liked how it smelled. So I got this one and it's a perfect size to keep in your purse. Of course, I have 
have lip balm in here. This one's from Burt's Bees. It's the vanilla bean. I really love their lip balms. They're so nice and really affordable. I keep bandages in here as well, just in case anybody needs them, if I need them. And I totally forgot I had this until very recently, but this is a mini poopery. It's the Before You Go Toilet Spray. And I, I don't even know if I've actually used this yet, but I did get it from Ulta and I thought it would be a nice thing to have in your bag just in case. I always love to have hair ties and bobby pins in here in case I have my hair down and I need to put it up for whatever reason. I keep a mini nail file inside this bag too because I can't tell you how many times I've been out and broken a nail and it's super jagged and I have nothing to fix it with. So I definitely like to have one of these with me all the time now. I've kept this thing in my purse for so many years. This is an old like painkiller travel container. I covered it with marble contact paper and it's been on there for literally years. So inside I have things like Tylenol, Advil, things like that. I have a mini floss in here too because every time I'm at the dentist and they give you like those mini floss things or toothpaste. I always keep those things because it's like super good for travel, but the floss is also really great to keep in your bag. I have also given floss to so many people before, like if you're out eating at a restaurant and I've used it quite a few times too. I have a compact mirror in here as well. And this thing is something that I have never used yet, but I like to have it also as a just in case emergency thing. So I actually use period cups or menstrual cups, whatever you call them. And I saw that this brand called Intamina sold compact ones that are good for traveling. So it actually fits inside here. It's just a little cup. I'll show you because I've literally never used it before. So it just expands to be this size and then you can push it back down and then it just fits back into the little travel container. And the last thing I have in here is where I keep like emergency makeup. Sometimes if I'm out and we decide to do something different and I want to throw on some makeup, I like to be prepared for that. This is not something I keep in my bag at all times though, because there are days where I know for sure I'm not going to be doing anything exciting, so I'm not gonna wear makeup. You can do this with lots of different containers if you have one. I got this from Gen Beauty years ago. They were giving out like little free samples and products to try, so the company Nude Sticks, which I don't really know too much about the company, um, but they were giving out free things and I decided to keep this tin because it's just like perfect for keeping small things in. So inside here, I have many products and samples that I could use to create a really nice, decent makeup look on the go. I'm a little bit of a hoarder, so anytime I get cool, interesting, little, small things, I always keep them. Anyways, a long time ago, I got a sample of the Bare Minerals Foundation, and it came with one of these cute little tiny buffer brushes, so I thought that this would be the perfect thing to keep in my bag. I'll just show you what I would use as foundation. So I have these samples, little tiny packets of foundation from Jouer of their essential high coverage cream foundation. If I needed to powder my face also, I can use the brush that I mentioned. And then I've also had this Tarte Smooth Operator Amazonian Clay Finishing Powder. I think it was one of the Sephora 100 point perks. It's just a tiny little thing of it and it's just a perfect size for something like this. A lot of times you can get holiday packs with many sizes of a bunch of different things. So I had a Pure Cosmetics Fully Charged Mini Mascara. I also got the Stila Stay All Day Waterproof Liquid Eyeliner, which is my favorite eyeliner. And it's so small, these are so cute. I also have this cute mini lipstick from Tarte that I got in a holiday pack. This is the Color Splash lipstick in the shade Salt Life and it's just a really perfect nude everyday shade. So I thought that I would keep it in there as well. The last thing I have in that makeup kit is something that I don't remember where I got it, but it's from the brand Noto. It's all natural multi-use for lips, cheeks, and eyes. This is in the shade Oscillate and it's just like a dark red berry color and it smells so good. I figured I would use this as blush if I needed to. So yeah, I just have that in there. 
Again, I don't keep it in my bag all the time. I thought it was a really cute idea and it takes up no space at all. And that is everything that I keep inside my bag. So I hope you guys liked this one. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Also let me know if you have any mini makeup emergency kit. It'll make me feel better and not feel like such a crazy person. And thank you, of course, to Angela Roy for sending over this beautiful handbag. Again, I will have it linked in the description box below this video so you can check it out. And thank you for watching this video, of course. And if you are new to my channel, definitely subscribe and check out my other videos. And thank you so much for watching this one. I hope you guys are having an amazing day and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.